hey welcome back to my channel thank you guys for tuning in if you're new here thank you for coming and stopping by to check up on your girl if you've been here before thank you for coming back um if you saw the last vlog you know why i look like this why i'm just laying down like a fool so but if you didn't catch the last one i suggest you go back and get the full backstory but basically what happened last week um i had an issue with my back where i couldn't walk i was bent over in pain screaming at work going nuts so what happened was they had to wheel me out of work i ended up in the hospital doing an x-ray the x-ray tech told me like my lumbar five the little bottom lumbar piece of my spine looked funny that was his exact words it looked funny um so basically i had to go on a lot of medications i'm on medical leave because i can't walk stand bend or do my regular normal activities the way i used to so everything is basically at a low level of you know i can get up it takes me a while to get up i can stand but I can't stand for a long period of time and I can't sit for a long period of time. So I'm basically just laying down most of the time, binge watching a bunch of shows. I'm catching up on um, 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. If you don't watch that show, start watching the show because it's kind of funny. People are hilarious. What they will do for love and relationships is insane. Um, crazy. What else did I binge watch? That I say was pretty good. I, I watched the entire five seasons of Insecure because I think I had to do a recap for seasons one through three. And I missed the last two because I didn't want to subscribe to HBO anymore. But I digress. But yeah, so I'm home. Pretty much laid up. Laid up. Um, But yeah, this is, it sucks because I've been working since I was 13 years old. Anytime I have this much downtime, it's because I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant at this point. I'm just I'm just down bad because I can't walk. Um, I do have a cane. I don't have to walk. I don't need a wheelchair or anything like that. There's an MRI, MRI set up for me in a couple of weeks. So then they'll tell me exactly what's wrong. We do know that there is um, a slight scoliosis, they said, in my back. Very minimal. Um what else did it say i forgot sciatica definitely i have and something else but my doctor thinks it's a bulging disc that's why they have to do the mri just to be sure so if there is a bulging disc i may have to do um physical therapy and i've also been looking up um anti-inflammatory diets to also help with the back pain so if you if anybody is on an anti-inflammatory diet, please, 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 please reach out to me in the comments. If you see me on, a, on my personal page, reach out to me with any kind of recipes, any books, anything you can think of that will help me on my anti-inflammatory diet journey. Or people who've had bulging discs in their back or bad back pain. How do you exercise? What do you do to, you know, get yourself up and going in less time because right now they're saying i'm down six to eight weeks i don't want to be down six to eight weeks but if i have to be then that's what it is but yeah yeah i ain't been doing nothing but staying home i did go out to the grocery store um yesterday with my husband we went together and i i told y'all before i love the grocery store the grocery store is like my my place to go for when I'm feeling down or depressed or something like that, I just go to the grocery store. It sounds crazy, but a lot of people go retail shopping. They go buy clothes that's unnecessary. I go, I don't even have to buy the food. I go there and I just look at stuff. And I look at the snacks that might be interesting. I'm like, oh, I might want to try that one day. I don't always pick it up because I don't want to stare and spend unnecessary money on snacks and food that I'm not going to eat, you know. But I just like going to browse the aisles. It sounds corny, but it helps me out. That's my self-care. That's my self-care. But yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm trying to stay, you know, positive. Trying to get on this road to recovery. 
if I look ashy, I apologize. It's still daytime. I'm just laying down. I'm just trying to get myself together. But yeah, just let me know down in the comments if you have any suggestions for me. Anything. But yeah, um, what else is new? It's a lot. It's a lot going on right now. From my last update with the whole Carly situation and how that whole thing was a, a big hoax. That's so annoying and so embarrassing to the female black community. It pisses me off. But at the same time, it's like, you know what? What if it was true? What would have happened if it was true and nobody picked up this information and she actually did get abducted and got hurt, killed, or into sex trafficking? What would have happened? But at the same like I said, it's really, you know, you don't know. Now you really don't know who to believe. It's kind of it's kind of crazy to me, but whatever. Um, also in the community, if you're from Stanford, you know uh, Reverend Jackson passed away a couple of days ago um very unfortunate very unfortunate um because he was a staple in our community he was you know someone that people looked up to i've known reverend jackson through faith tabernacle um church i didn't know him personally i do know his daughter from school and she's a sweet girl and so that that's really sad to see that he passed away and in the manner of he that he passed away in front of his home getting his mail and he got hit by a police car you know and it wasn't like he was out in the street it wasn't like he was doing anything crazy he was literally crossing the street from his mailbox to get back home that's so sad and so unfortunate like, you know, the past week has shown me, what well, the past few weeks has shown me how quickly life can change in a blink of an eye. You know, my uncle died last month. Then my back going out, I couldn't walk, you know, terrified. You know, this whole Carly situation, getting people up in arms, getting all crazy, rallying, going crazy, looking for this crazy girl. Sorry, I didn't mean to call her, call her crazy. Lord Jesus, forgive me. Looking for this girl. Nothing's wrong. Reverend Jackson passing away. It's all too much, you know, in every corner. It's too much. Everything is happening all at once. It feels like. One of the when they say like when it rains it pours like literally that's what what's going on at this point it feels like in my life, but I'm trying to keep a positive attitude and a positive outlook, you know, because it could have been way worse for me as far as you know my health. I could have been, you know, really down bad, but I was able to you know I'm still able to get myself up and do the bare minimum but i can still do them there's people out here who can't get up at all you know there's people who who didn't wake up this morning you know it's scary and you always sometimes you want to feel sorry for yourself and at the same time you have to look at it and be like it could have been way worse i'm not going to sit here and pretend and say like oh this is as low as it can get it can get lower for real, it can get lower. So anybody out there who is down and feels like, oh, I can't go on, I can't do this, it gets better. It has to get better. If you want it to get better, it's going to get better. You know, you have to have a positive outlook on things because there's always somebody out there that's doing worse than you. And there's always somebody out there who is watching you on either side, there's always somebody watching, waiting for you to fail. And there's somebody out there rooting for you that you don't even know it. So, until you... Oh, my lip. Mm, that don't look good. Excuse me. Whatever. Y'all gonna, gonna get over that. But until you look at yourself on the inside and know that you can do it, you're gonna fail. You have to have it in you to say, listen... I can do this. I know I can do this. You have to hype your own self up. You can't wait for people to hype you up, sis or sir. 
Hype your own self up. Make your own things happen. Get up off your ass and do something for yourself. Because like I said, there's people who can't get up. There's people who won't wake up. There's people who feel like tomorrow is just, that's the end for them. They just don't want to do it. If that's you, I promise you, things will turn out better if you want them to. You can't just wait on your blessings. Sometimes God, Allah, Buddha, whoever you 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 pray to, they going to push you, but you're going to have to run for yourself. They can't do everything for you. You got to do certain things for yourself. Keep that in mind. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up because I don't want to just sit here and get into much of, you know, nonsense because I will ramble on and on for hours and I don't want to make my videos that long. I want people to watch them, get something out of it and go on about their day. I don't want you to sit here and watch me like that girl is weird as hell. I don't want to watch her no more. I want you to come back. I want you to come back. Hopefully when you come back, I'm doing a little bit better. I'm dressed. I'm not all silky and smooth. You know, I want to be silky and smooth, but I want to be, you know, out the bed when y'all see me next time. So, yeah. So, again, down in the comments, let me know how you feel about this video. Let me know if you have any ideas on anti-inflammatory diets or any links, anything positive about anti even if it's negative about anti-inflammatory diets i never i haven't seen anything negative but anybody says something negative let me know all comments are welcome you know so yeah i'm gonna let y'all go so um yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a cousin and them all right